Salvete omnes, nomen mihi est canicus, well, caniculus. Thank you for joining me for this episode of the DDO Code Experiment. I am doing the Corthos quests with a focus on doing those quests that are Coin Lord's favor. Oh, nope, don't want her. Don't want Dryad right now. I want O'Leary. We can delete Dryad. Delete Dryad. There we go. Just free up some space. All right. Ahead is the cellar where the Caneth crystal is hidden. You can feel so this should be pretty straightforward on normal. But from the shadows, I think this might be a... Who would doom let's see. By destroying it. Kenneth Chris. Alright, so I'm only doing this once. I'm not going to... I'm not going to do this on hard or elite for a while. Oh, she's not on. Attack. There we go. This just takes so long. Alright. That gets us through the two that really don't want to aggro on the player. They just go straight for the crystal. So we should be fine. Excuse the yawning. Ignos que te mihi. Yes, I'm letting O'Leary do the work for me. And I will take all of the credit with the village. Just 100% of the credit. It's all me. I feel like on that, that guy, I waved my scimitars around in the air and he just sort of fell over. Didn't feel like I actually hit him. Speaking of feeling like this... Uh, gamepad, the, the 8 bit Doe Pro 2, has a pretty robust rumble feature, but it is not supported by DDO. You Would be nice. Alright, so we don't have to do that one for a while, which is good, because I don't like doing that one. Alright, I'm going to get the Spearbane, but I'm not going to wear it. I think Storehouse Secret is. Coin Lords. Dust and mold fill this ill maintained storehouse. You can hear the telltale skittering of vermin nearby. And I am going to I'm going to focus on speed here. Um, I gotta do this quest three times. I don't really need to focus on experience points. The experience will come. This appears to be the main storeroom. It seems the Although I, I am anxious to get to. Sorry, um, I am anxious to get to where I have um, dex to damage. That's only that's only going to come at about level four. Right, what am I missing? There we go. Seriously? Where is it? 
huge silver key. A Sarhagen emerges from a hidden passage, demanding Come on, defense. haste. Oh, you mustn't let the scrolls. Fall well, I hope that was on the right hotbar. Okay, we'll see if there's anything of interest in here, but we're not just going to loot everything because we're running out of space. Deathblock Belt of Shatter. Don't need her anymore. Get this puzzle done quickly. The door swings open. It appears that the floor in this room can be moved and rotated. There are uh, more than one way. But there is more than one way of uh, solving this. <clears throat> you can get you know two on each side rather than three, um, but I find that's the fastest way for me to do it. All right, we have another. Let's start into Deepwood Stalker, even though. I might have to sacrifice haste boots at some point anyway. Oh, the faster sneaking. Yeah, definitely take tendon cut here. We might actually even hold on to tendon cut. All right. This will be a nice Addition, get us up to 70 hit points. All right. So uh, we'll get through the collaborator on normal and then uh, call that a video and then we'll go through the quests that are coin lords. So Storehouse Secret, Hayton's Rest, and the Collaborator All Coin Lords. So the next video will be Coming those three quests on court, hard. You hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya Oop. spoke of. And by the passage leading in, Let's get Leary out. a dim faced man glares. She will come in handy, I'm sure. Strange. Sarcophagi line. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. If you search the wall, you Kill may discover more. What were those cult? A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage here. There's a Sahuagan in here performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Korthos. A magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. I am enjoying playing Ranger. I like dual wielding. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own another treasure chest. Perhaps the cultists brought it here, but it's yours now. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Fred Wolf Hayton in life. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. All right, one more crest to get. Well, good thing I got that tendon slice off. Don't know what I would have done if he had been able to move at full speed. There we go. Hey, it's a button to push. In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. Buy it. A Sahuagan rumble. When the altar collapses, a third crest appears. 
It glows with cold magic. I did get it, didn't I? Yeah. All right. So let's finish this up and then head over to the collaborator. Ooh, and the collaborator, we get um, the feeding scimitar. I love the feeding scimitar. Temporary hit points all the time. A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, you fit the last boost. in place. And the magic shield Take these guys out. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools who would keep Kornos shall be consumed by the devourer. At the last okay. of your bold action saved Kornos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now so... yours. Uh... All right. Well, this is going well. Hero, it is on the people's lips as you walk by. Cautious looks have become friendly nods. Then word comes that your presence is requested in the tavern. All right. Last quest for this video. fruit. This must be the collaborator stepping in from the dark. Thanks, Mrs. Retreat going, although I'm not really going anywhere. If there's a pattern to where these guys spawn, I do not know it. Defense there we go. Alright, we'll check the chest for something useful, but... Outside for a final assault. Nope. You notice a small chest hidden behind the bar. Jacoby Drexel hand. He must have fled into the cell. Oh, come on, game. We move forward. There we go. Drexel hand isn't here. However, webbed footprints on the ground betray the location of there a secret go. passage. The chamber beyond the secret passage looks ancient, predating. Oh, we might as well check and see if there's a scimitar in here, but it's not likely. I don't really need level one gear anyway. Quite a lot of chests in this quest. Boots of Chump. Nope. Nothing there that I need. So killing those two guys first gets you the um, onslaught bonus. 
So it's worth trying it's worth trying to take those two out before you take out Jacoby Drexel hand. Alright. Alright, so we want Fenton's Blade, Body Feeder. Your victories have made the village much safer, but only temporarily. It's time to take the fight to the Sahuagin, out in the wild. We're going to put the Ethereal excited. on there. The Ethereal is going to allow us to hit um, Ghost and incorp Incorporeal enemies. Gonna go out and we'll get set for a run of Storehouse Secret and Hayton's Rest and the Collaborator again. Gratias, Wobis Ago. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I am still looking for people who might want to start a static group. Uh, again, that's from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern on pretty much any day uh, if there's interest we'll have to see how we can schedule it out see Waletis Ego Walio Walete <laughs>